Hi, thanks for joining me again for another How to Draw Stuff with me, Calvin Innes. Um, okay, for this lesson, I'm going to show you how to draw a sleepy, slow cartoon sloth. Um, so, this is all about kind of starting off with a nice, sort of simple shape and then adding a few details. There's not actually a lot of detail to a sloth, really. Um, so it's about getting that first shape right. So, here we go. So this first shape is kind of like that. So it's a little bit smaller up here, it's a little bit bigger down here. It's kind of this blob that goes a little bit smaller towards the top. Now this is kind of the bottom part of our of our sloth. Now up here, we're going to add our our head, and our head is basically a bit of a, a bit of an oval. Just, just like that. Um, now, sloths obviously hang upside down. They, they sort of dangling from the tree. So we need our tree in here. So up here, I'm going to draw a, a rough line to show where our tree is going to go. So make sure you can see that on there. Um, and let's just thicken this up a little bit so it becomes our our branch. Um, we can go back and add a little bit more detail to that in just a minute. Now the shape of your sloth, this is this is kind of the important bit. Um, so your arms, the front arm, starts just here, and it's quite thick where it joins on to your sloth. So really sort of thick, and then it's getting smaller as it goes up, and that's your your sloth's front arm. It's exactly the same with the back, um, except this time we're going to just sweep that back leg first. So it's starting smaller getting thicker there we go so we've got kind of a big chunky back leg to your sloth a couple of more little bits that we need to do before we kind of go over this and, and add in the final details um, a couple more guidelines to help us out so first off we want to draw a smaller oval inside here um, and this is sort of the face of your sloth so we need to get the markings right so coming in from each side you got a shape there, and you got a shape there. Now these are the markings that go on either side of your sloth's face. So our eyes are going to be in here. So two little circles there for now. But it's a sloth, so we want this guy to be nice and sleepy. So let's just put some eyelids in. There we go. And we're going to draw a little nose in there. Um, sort of a bit of a bit of a soft triangle colour that guy in for our our nose um, now sloth don't have any sort of visible ears or any of that kind of stuff um, so that's that's pretty much it for the initial sort of part of the face so from the back of the head here let's just sweep that round to the back of your sloth's body same on the front okay now we've got these legs that are on the front of the branch we need the ones that are sort of behind it as well so just from here a little line up and just from here another little line up and this gives us our legs on the other side of the branch and these are the ones where we can see the claws so from up here we're going to draw one claw two claws three claws same with this guy this back leg we're going to draw one claw two claw three claws now this one here we can't actually see the claws, sort of um, the curved over. So let's just add those on there, add a little lump on the top, and those claws are kind of um, hooked over the other side of the branch. And we're sort of almost there now. We're just going to add in a few extra bits and pieces, um, and then we're going to go over this um, in pen so we can kind of see which lines we want to keep in and add a little bit of shade into it too. But first off on this branch, let's just do a few little um, smaller branches coming up and for these just start off a little bit thicker where it joins onto this this thicker branch and then they get kind of smaller more towards a point as it, as it gets further away there we go so we've got a few simple details there and then we can just sketch in where we're going to have some leaves and these are 
really sort of rough shapes. We don't want too much detail in these because this isn't about the leaves, this is about the sloth. But that is kind of it, okay? Um, let's just draw a nice, lazy, happy mouth in there. Um, and then I'm going to switch across to a pen so we can go over this in a little bit more detail and you can see things a little bit more clearly. And this is where we add a few of the extra hairs and textures and that kind of stuff in. So on the bottom edge of this arm, let's do some hair hanging down. Okay. Now the front edge isn't quite so hairy. Same with this one, not quite so hairy on the front edge. But we're just picking out those lines that we want to keep in. So the belly, a couple of tufts of hair there. Now again, with this back leg, we want this this side to be a bit more hairy. This is kind of like where the hair is sort of hanging down. Um, this side, not quite so much. Now along the back of your sloth, again, just a few little tufts of hair. You don't need to go mad on this. You don't want your sloth to be too fluffy, but a couple of little bits there. Um, we'll just bring it to life a little bit. And on the head, same sort of idea again. We'll just put in a few little tufts of hair, not too many. There we go. And you'll notice that I've left a little gap there. I'm not following that guideline all the way around because um, then it'll look like your sloth's head is sort of just stuck on. You want it to look like it's growing out of the body. So leaving that little gap there um, does just that. Now let's do a little tuft on the top. There we go. And we need to get these, uh, these markings now. So we're going to, again, keeping this kind of quite rough, a few little tufts of hair. Got those markings around the face. And then using those guidelines to follow in those bits and those bits over each eye. Now remember, we want our sloth to be nice and sleepy. So we're gonna go over those eyelids, but we're not gonna go over the top part of the eye. We're just gonna use the bottom part of the eye there. And let's put some little pupils in. Just tuck them in under the eyelid so it stays looking really nice and sleepy. Go over that nose. There we go. Shade that guy in. And you've got your nice lazy mouth. Put a little line underneath if you like there, just for the, the bottom lip. And then we're going to start going over some of the other bits. Oh, we missed this back leg. There we go. Um, now our claws. Don't want too much detail in these. But if you draw this one first and have the others tucked in behind, it makes it a bit easier. So again, this top one first, then tuck these ones in behind. Again, just going over the top there, so no real detail there. Because that bit of the claw is actually sort of hidden behind the branch. And now we're going to go over the, uh, the branch in a little bit more detail. So again, using these guidelines, we're just following on the bits that we want to keep, and we're leaving the bits that we don't want to keep. And you'll notice that as I'm going along here, I'm adding a few more little details. The way the lines sort of go over each other um, on there. Uh, if you want to know how to do this in a little bit more detail, um, I have put together another another drawing tutorial showing you just that, how to draw trees and branches. Um, so check that out. Here we go, we'll just get a few more little details in there. So using these guidelines that we put in right at the beginning to draw these branches. And then we're gonna go over these leaves as well. But again, we're not going over these in any sort of real detail. We want this to be nice and rough. We might add a little bit more detail in than we did when we were sketching the guidelines. A few little extra lines on the leaves, that kind of stuff, but we want to keep this nice and rough, we really do. A few more 
in there. And let's just add a few little bits of detail to this branch so it's not too smooth. And again, like I say, uh, check out my other drawing tutorial on how to draw trees and branches where I go over all of this stuff, adding in the textures and branches and leaves and all that cool stuff. There we go. And just to finish this guy off, we're just going to add a couple of little bits of shading. So where the, uh, the head overlaps there, let's just add in a few hairs. Same under there. Just a couple of little bits along the back. And again, just along the legs. Going, going in the same direction as these legs or these arms. And now these back arms or back legs. Let's just put a quick bit of shading over those. Shading all in one direction, and that just sets them back a little bit, just gives a little bit of depth to your character. And that is it. There is your cartoon sloth. Um, so it's quite an easy character to draw this one um, to begin with, and then it's just a case of adding those details in. So start off really nice and simple, um, and you should end up with something really cool. Um, and as always, I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Um, really enjoy kind of seeing the pictures that you guys send in. Um, so thank you for joining me. Enjoy drawing and I will see you all again next time.